Chester. Seems like you had a pretty close call, huh? You too, Bear. Yeah, well, thankfully I was able to phase myself and frost long enough for Chester to do the rest. Uh, it wasn't all me. If it wasn't for Allegra and Cecile, I'd be just another burnt corpse right about now. Hey, uh, what about the other three victims? Joe, did you find anything? I did some digging. I called in a few favors. Uh, turns out our first victim, Stan Mullen, recently lost all his belongings to foreclosure. Then Donna Winters, her sister died last week. Let me guess, our yoga Vic was suffering some loss too. Fiance and childhood sweetheart to cancer. It's a grief pattern. Which fits with where I've been at lately. So this new meta, whoever he is, eats grief and sorrow to survive. Yeah, that's not terrifying. It gets scarier. We thought we were looking for a meta serial killer. Someone that was controlling the black flames, like the figure I saw in the fire. But the fire created that. And when I spoke to it, it, it heard me like it could understand or something. Chester's right. With all of that sorrow that I felt coming out of that thing, I also felt other emotions. Determination, passion, desire. It's almost like whatever that thing is, it's got a mind of its own. So we're not looking for a separate fire meta. No. The will to seek out victims to kill, need to satisfy its hunger at all costs. The flames have a survival instinct. Which means the flames are being used by the killer. They are the killer. Because they're alive. 